Breaking news, Nigerians. CJN Ariwala speaks after Chicago State University disowned Tunable certificate. Hey guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. The Chief Justice of Nigeria, CJN, Justice Ulukayode Ariwala, on Wednesday, triggered the reactions of many Nigerians just after the Chicago State University disowned the academic certificate of President Bola Tinubu, as well as a stamp and other items on the certificate. The CJN, who spoke at the Supreme Court in Abuja, while inaugurating another uh, badge of 23 judges for the Federal High Court of Nigeria, clarified that public opinion, no matter how serious or weighty it might be, cannot override or supersede the constitution of the country. Why many believe the CJN was speaking in reaction to the calls for Tinubu's resignation, some posited that it was a message passed to the president's critics. Ariwala therefore charged judges in the country to always apply constitutional provisions in deciding each case that may be assigned to them, noting that several attacks are regularly heaped on the judiciary, but that is a crystal clear that the public opinion, no matter how serious, cannot override the Constitution. According to Daily Post, the CJN further explained that judiciary officers still owe their conscience and the generality of the Nigerian masses, particularly those who are looking up to them, the great responsibility of young moral, re recited and acceptable conduct to uphold and consolidate the trust reposed in, him, in them. Meanwhile, yesterday, the Chicago State University testified under oath that the Nigerian president presented a forged degree certificate to the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, in the build-up to the presidential election, according to the People's Gazette. The official repu repudiation of Mr. Tinubu's certificate, the only academic qualification he presented to INEC, came as a deposition of school officials on Tuesday in Chicago. So what is, is he saying? What is he trying to say here? Is he trying to say that whether Nigerians like it or not, um, whatever is going on right now cannot, cannot affect President Bola Tinubu? Because this is what they did. This, the same statement he, he made now, the same statement they made during the presidential election petition uh, court judgment, when they said Nigerians' opinion cannot supersede the Nigerian constitution. And last, last, we now understand how they rob Nigerian constitution. They have started again. These people should allow peace to reign in Nigeria. Now, Nigeria is now like no man's land. Uh, apart from that, the kind of embarrassment now Nigerians are receiving. Nigeria, outside Nigeria, is not in as it is right now, and it's going to be very, it's going to be, it's going to be very disgraceful that after all this episode. Nigerian president will still go to that Asuro and sit as a Nigerian president and be giving orders how he is the chairman of ECOWAS. Tell me how they are going to be taking him serious. They won't be taking him serious. So if some persons are saying the best thing, as it is like this, just resign. It's the best thing for him. You understand? We understand in Africa, mostly Nigeria, leaders, they don't resign. They don't. Even when they see, say the thing don't choke them, it no matter, they, they prefer to die for the matter instead of them to resign. Resign and take your own or waka. That is the best thing to do in such, in, in a, such a case. They want to twist the thing now. They will allow us, they, tomorrow now they go tell us say the T or the I in all set way. You see, you can now understand their language. You, APC, 
have said the Nigerian government have already said that. They say this issue, they are not bothered about it. You understand? Whether President Bola Metinubu uh, submitted forged certificates to INEC, they are not bothered. They say they have so many issues to attend to. So anybody would think they are bothered about this issue, that they are not bothered. So to them, the presidential election uh, petition court have already decided. And for that, nothing happens. Any seed where you they plant today, don't forget that it will germinate someday. And it will still grow, you will reap it. That is why uh, in those days, they said, if you they walk up for road, a narrow road like this, those days when we say cannot day, nothing, you will use your leg, they walk up, they travel, they go where they go, or animal. They will say, no, they throw stone no, for your front. Don't throw stone for your front. Because if you do that, you will see waka come meet that stone, and you are going to give yourself punishment. The time you're supposed to walk pass, you'll be busy picking those stones from, the, from your way for a free pass through. These people have really radicaled Nigeria to nothing. All this uh, desperation of power, whatever, they don't bring Nigeria to nothing. Our, our government, this, the system is so soured. If not, we don't supposed to receive this international embarrassment now we are facing. Shall we get our neck? They don't submit all these certificates and everything to high neck. The same person, they don't talk about, you know, the primary school, the secondary school. Okay, make I even remove the primary school now. The secondary school, he said he, he went to, does, is not even in existence. Then, he said he finished in 1970, in 1970. And that the same primary school started in 1974. So where did he generate all these things? Eh? If a father is doing this, what do you think? What do you expect from your children? This is very wrong. Then they talk, say, good name is better than riches. Integrity matters a lot. You understand? All this rugged kind of life, you know they make sense at all. So guys, I'm dropping it here. Let's hear from you. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you for listening.